everybody, Max and Brian here. We're here with Raphael from Paper Cult Games showing off a new game called Blood Roots. Yeah. It has lots of violence in it. You can kill people in creative ways. Tell us about that, please. So yeah, we really wanted to recreate the flow of being Jackie Chan. That's the main inspiration. So just like Jack Chan would do, you can like pick up a ladder, start spinning it, then double jump with it while climbing it, landing your foot in a pot, throwing it at somebody. So it's really a fast-paced action pretty brutal, you die in one punch, people also die in one punch. So I want to speed around through some of the things that you can kill people with in this game. Yep. Uh, number one, a big ass carrot. Yeah, the carrot is pretty massive in uh, Blood Roots. It's heavy, it has a lot of, uh, a lot of swing to Some it. Some oomph. Yeah, exactly. What about a banana? There's a banana also hidden somewhere in the game. A hidden banana, I like mm -hmm. the sound of that. <laughs> eggs? There's eggs in the game. Really? <laughs> I just guessed that one. What about fish? There's a couple of fish, actually. There's a swordfish, there's smaller, like, trout fish. <laughs> there's a variety of fishes. <laughs> Are there nunchucks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's set in America in the 18th century. Is there, Why would there be? How do you know they didn't have nunchucks kidding, back kidding. then? They might have had nunchucks back then. There couldn't be nunchucks in this. Is time. there a pink flamingo? There's a pink flamingo. You're right there. How on earth did I guess that? It's almost <laughs> as though we've been speaking before we turn the yeah. cameras on. Yeah. Uh, can you kill a guy with one of those like weird haystacks that only has two wheels and they tie to the horse's butt? Uh, you can a light. wagon? A yeah. wagon, that's the word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you kill a guy with you a wagon? Got on this one. <laughs> you can peel, uh, kill people with a wagon mm -hmm. and then take off a wheel, skate on it uh, like uh, Legolas would do in Lord of the Ring. Like uh, we wanted to have like a really good pacing, so we introduced like about three to four new weapons per level, and also we always like throw new stuff at the player, new obstacles, new enemies. The the, the environment always change, and we also uh, like uh, throw some random stuff to change the pacing of the game. So at some point, the camera shifts and you have a little segment that turns into a, a 2D platformer that comes out of nowhere. So we have, we're always trying to keep huh. the player on the edge of their seat. I like <laughs> it. So it's a little bit isometric and then it'll flip it around and it gets you know, sideways and exactly, stuff? Exactly, exactly. What doing about a rake? Stuff. Can you kill somebody with a rake? There's a rake You're in the game. <laughs> I think it's cool. That's a fairly mundane weapon, I feel like, in the, in the you know, the Canadian wilderness for rakes. <laughs> Ray That's pretty straightforward. They I just know. leave them everywhere? Yeah. I don't know. That it. seems kind of in brand with the whole, like, Looney Tunes, like, violence. You step mm -hmm. on the rake. Can you step on a rake and hurt yeah, yourself? No. Okay. That would be, uh, yeah. We had bear traps. We have, we still have a bear trap, but like at first you could walk on it and it would kill you. But it wasn't fun. So there is definitely a theme of animals, and you, you play as sort of like a trapper who's out for revenge. Exactly. There's a story going on. At first uh, you you get killed uh, by a group of people, and then uh, you, you try to go back in each act and find one of those those bosses and kill them to go to the other one. But the story the story starts up pretty like a basic uh, revenge revenge plot, but uh, then it evolves into uh, something else. Hmm. Something deeper. Well, I'm excited to hear more about that. Thank Are there dogs? There's my dog in it. Your dog? dog's in the game? He's a hat. Oh. What? <laughs> well, I you guess. You can wear him? Yeah, I know. What do the hats do in the game? Uh, they change your behavior, so it's, you, you can unlock them while you play. Uh, when you get some certain scores, so it's a it's a good reason to come back at the levels and play them to unlock you. Yeah. And the whole yeah, thing yeah. is sort of score based and ti like time attack. Exactly, yeah. we have leaderboards for the score and also for the the, the the time attack. So like you can compete for score or for the fastest. What about laser gun? There's so a laser gun in that game. There's, There's a, a laser, laser gun. gun? See, this is why I ask the questions. Laser you keep saying, What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's a laser gun. This is why I do journalism. <laughs> Thank you. What am I doing? Laser gun. I don't know. Hanging out. I guess. Well, anyway, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. When uh, when can we hang out with Blood Roots? Uh, it's gonna come out this summer at some point. That's a good answer. Anyway, Blood Roots. Keep an eye on it. It's violent. You can kill people with a carrot, a fish, a banana, a flamingo, a rake, a turkey, all sorts of things. And I'm dying to see what else there is. And a laser gun. Thank a laser you, gun. And the weird car with two wheels that ties to the horse's butt. The wagon. The wagons. <laughs> yes. Thanks for watching. Keep it here on IGN.